the first thing, why am I running? My entire life has been one of service. Uh, the easy part is to tell you I'm a former uh, or retired uh, ob doctor. I can't tell you when I've been knocking on doors how many times I've knocked on a door and it's been somebody I, that I took care of and all the babies that I delivered here in the community. And I've been here since 1971. I remember when there was nothing south of uh, uh, Pioneer Parkway, and I mean nothing. And there was no I-20. So I've watched the city grow up. <clears throat> I want to serve. I've served in, uh, in a variety of different capacities. On the cards that I handed out, I'm not going to sit here and try and list all the things that I've done in my career that have been outside of my, the practice of medicine, but I do know how to run a business uh, because we had a, a private, independently owned company that I was part owner of. I own real estate because of the office buildings that the doctors owned, and I've also served at the highest levels of uh, Texas Health Resources and I know how to run large companies, and I know what the issues and the budgets are. So why? Because I want to serve. I have no other reason than that. I didn't come into this with any agenda. I don't, I don't have any um, um, uh, issues that are in cement where I'm not willing to listen to somebody. My patients, when they come in to see me, have issues and problems. I have to listen to them because that's my job. If I, right now I serve on planning and zoning. I am one of your planning and zoning commissioners. And I will not have the luxury of standing up here today and say, and say to you, I need, I need more information because in two weeks, I get to vote on 2B. And I'm gonna tell you what that decision is gonna be here in just a little bit. So what was the, uh, the part two, what's the most important issue to me that, that faces Arlington today? Poverty, lack of transportation, and lack of communication. Those three things. As I've been talking to people over the last two years, because I made a commitment to myself two years ago that I wanted to, to represent District 5 that I've lived in now for over 20 years. I have talked to hundreds of people I understand the problem of the poverty on the east side of my district. I understand the problem of lack of transportation for people that can't hardly even get to work. But do, am I going to stand up here and tell you that I have the solutions? Me, here in my brain? No, I'm not going to pretend to do that. I'm not that smart. I'm not a politician. But I am a leader. I know how to listen to people. I know how to compromise. When one of the positions that I had that's listed on that card, I was chairman of the Physician Leadership Council for Texas Health Resources. I represented 8,000 doctors. I did that for two years. All of the doctors in all 24 hospitals trying to come together to decide how they're going to take care of patients. And two years after that, I led uh, those same physicians, a slightly different group of them, also uh, another eight or 9,000 doctors, on setting policies and procedures for 24 different hospitals. I know how to do this. I think I bring a unique set of skills to this position that will allow me to be your best servant. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm asking for your vote. So, and the last thing, um, what was the last thing? Uh, uh, Short-term rentals, because this is where the rubber meets the road, because I told you what I'm going to be facing. I have studied this issue for two years. I've listened to, uh, to mostly the, the people up in North Arlington. I had a really nice conversation. Who, who was it I talked with on the phone for about almost half an hour about this issue? You, right there, thank you. So I'm just gonna tell you how I feel. I've gotta have the courage of my conviction. You may not like what I'm about to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you what, what I think. There is a balancing act here. And what's a real shame, from my perspective, is that the city didn't do its job when it should have done it, 12, uh, in, uh, starting in 2010. Back on the books, when they developed the, the, uh, the UDC uh, code, they did away with certain zoning, but the, the uh, Unified Development Code, which is code word for zoning, it said in there in black and white, and you guys know this, thou shalt not have any short-term rentals anywhere in the city of Arlington. It's already there. And it's defined anything less than 30 days. The city never enforced it. Why? I'll tell you my opinion. My opinion is they needed your businesses to take care of all those tourists that were coming into town because they didn't have any hotels. They built the stadiums. They built all this attraction. 
they knew and still know today that as time passes, more hotels will be built. And I know of at least two others that are going to be built already that are on, on the books right now. The city, uh, city of Arlington is transforming. So because the city did nothing, the neighbors that were affected by those bad actors got really upset. And they became politically active, and you guys have felt their wrath because they're down there lobbying all the time. At the last planning and zoning meeting, we were given a presentation uh, about the part of the planning and zoning that I'm going to have to vote on. It's a change, it's an amendment to the Unified Development Code. I am not voting on the ordinance, which is different, that is going to actually set the penalties and all the rules and the safety issues. That's a different issue. What I'm voting on is that option 2B where they're going to redraw the entertainment district. They're going to make it smaller. If you're inside that district, all you're going to have to do is pay your taxes and renew every year. If you're outside that entertainment district, you're out of business in six months, no ifs, ands, or buts. And that's what we're voting on. I have to be honest with you. I wish I was not in this position to have to make a decision but I'm going to have to vote. And right now I'm gonna to vote to adopt 2B. You may not like that, but at least respect me for the courage of standing up here and telling you what I'm gonna do. I wish we had not gotten to this point. We should not be here. I also understand that the Texas State Legislature is probably gonna usurp what's gonna happen. And when that happens, I guarantee you the municipalities, because all of a sudden, you've gutted zoning regulations for all the cities in Texas. Those cities are going to sue, every last one of them. And it's going to go all the way to the Texas State Supreme Court. And when that finally happens, then the issue will be settled. Isn't it terrible that we couldn't have solved this problem years ago? The reason we didn't is we had entrenched people in city council that had been there for a very long time and thank God for term limits. Now, I'm glad we passed it. I wore a t-shirt to vote against it. Why? Because it's too restrictive. A lifetime ban. You'll have a young person like my opponent, if she were to get elected, she can serve six years, and um, I, I'm not gonna ask you how old you are, but six years from now, let's imagine she's 32 or 35 or 38, I don't care. She can never, ever, ever run again. You're out. Once you're out, you're out forever. And that is too restrictive, in my opinion. It's one of the reasons I didn't vote for it. So I know I'm running out of time. Uh, my name is Dr. Ignacio Nunez. If you'll bear with me, hold the microphone for a second. My wife made me do this. <laughs> Dr. Iggy always delivers.